All right. Hello and welcome everyone, and we are live for another exciting Left 4 Dead 2 shoutcast. I am Prodigy Sim, and I'm here tonight with Justin Bieber. How are you doing, Justin Bieber? I'm doing wonderful. Thanks for inviting me. My pleasure. This should be a pretty fun match. Um, this is another match for the Confogel Light Cup for certain tournament. And, uh, yeah, these are always interesting games to watch, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of interesting. I've never actually casted a um, Confogel Light matchup before, so that'll be interesting for me. It'll be a first time with that, so please bear with me with that. That'll give us a good excuse to go over some of the <laughs> gameplay changes. Alright, cool. Let's see. So, um, the teams that are playing tonight are... Let's see, it's Team Ambitious Rules, which should be, or their full lineup is Gem, Artificial Intelligence, Meriwether, Trauma, and Neon. And I'm not really sure which ones of them are joining so far. Um, and then on Team Lethal Dosage, we have Lethal Dosage, Creamy Bunny, Had a Few, and Juice. No, I like, like that. His yeah. team name is Leth Team Lethal Dosage. You should really do that for a team. Forget all this creative names and whatnot. Just name the team after yourself. And then all the uh, players on the team, their names seem to have something to do with drinks or beverages of some type. Lethal Dosage. I don't know. I don't know. I think that has <laughs> more to do with like just drugs. And yeah, Tan probably. Creamy Bunny. That's a little bit of a stretch. But we'll see. Maybe it Maybe it's like a, a name for some super secret drink mix or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but had a few in juice, that can that can be Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess if it was like a lethal dosage of alcohol and you've had a few drinks. I don't know. But it looks like restrained OP is playing on that team on team lethal dosage. And for team ambitious fools Oh, here comes Had a few, so he'll probably be switching over to Survivor. So do you want to go over some of the uh, changes for us? Because I actually don't know all of them, so it'd be good refresher course for me. Um, yeah, I mean, the basic changes of Confogel Light is that you're going to see medkits at the start of the map. You only get one medkit, though, I believe. And you're going to see Tier 2s, but they're going to be single pickups, which means that the survivors are going to go see an auto shotgun, Coach is going to pick it up, and then Rochelle's going to have to pick up a Tier 1 shotgun if they try to grab it. So it like replaces tier two with tier one after one player has picked them up. So it still means you'll see teams running full tier two when possible, but uh, it's it's at least slightly different, and you have to worry about ammo a little bit. And then as far as the item density after, in terms of pills, throwables, gas cans, and propane, I'm looking around. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of anything. Yeah, I'm not really sure how throwables are tuned for this, but I believe in the uh, cup version of this config. We do not have any pills outside of safe room, no health items at all outside of safe room. Maybe some shots, I don't know. But so it's medkits only, which is actually pretty crazy when it comes to like tank fights. Because if you don't want to be slow during a tank, you basically have to, you know, either pre kit or not be hurt before tank and yeah. then uh, not get hit by him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's no way you're going to heal up for the five seconds it takes to heal when there's a tank coming yeah, in. Yeah, really. I mean, and if you are, it's a bunch of time wasted, you know, not shooting at the tank, so... It's really kind of crazy to see people play with medkits again. This is this is something, something that uh, I think a lot of people missed from the SIVO config a long time ago. Is medkits actually really add another layer of strategy to the game. Or if you could, whereas if you go to pills, it's a bit more of just a rushing and uh, hardcore skill, I guess. So, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's any throwables at all. I've pretty much... Oh, I do see a bottle the bio, in action. Yeah. I haven't seen any Molotovs or anything else, though, so I, I see one throwable on the whole map. Or maybe it's Metafogal style. Um, let's see. The teams have gotten in here, so for Team Ambitious Fools, we do have Mion, James Bond, Release, and Meriwether. Uh, I don't know if Release and James Bond are... Smurfs or what, and of course we do once again have Restrained, Lethal Dosage, Had a Few, and Cream Bunny for Team Lethal Dosage. 
I have just been told the... that James Bond is hip. By I was gonna say they're five all, people. Uh, playing with different tags. <laughs> we have a DSG and a P. Yeah. I don't know, maybe those aren't tags, maybe it's just... I don't know. Somebody's got a mudkip in their avatar, though. Let's see, it looks like we're just waiting for lethal lethal dosage to ready up. Hopefully he hasn't overdosed uh, this early. That would be good. Yeah, I mean, there's no shots uh, or pills, so overdosing should not <laughs> be a problem for him. Maybe he drank the boomer bile. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> had a few boomer files in my day. <laughs> uh, the infected right now for Team Ambitious Fools, they do have a 2-2 Hunter Jockey, so not a great opening hit. We'll probably see them sack it pretty quickly. I have a, a pre-game shout-out here. It's a shout-out from Push in the LTD mumble. It doesn't even really say anything. It just says shout-out from Push, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Oh, generic shoutouts. Always, always fun. Gotta get your name out there. The game is going live here. Our opening attack for um, Team Ambitious, or, yeah, Ambitious Fools is a Spitter Hunter Jockey Nub Boomer. Nice wow. one boom landing right on the taxi there, so very early tag. That's like main. Pounce is gonna land for four and he does at least get one tick. Jockey gonna land for a couple of ticks right there. Uh, nice. pretty nice amount of damage. Yeah, nice early attack. I don't think I've ever seen an attack quite that early before. Yeah, right on the taxi. That taxi spawns uh sometimes hard to get, but you know if the survivors leave it open. And they got no okay amount of damage out of a 20. That's pretty yeah. good. Plus some good horde delay. They're actually getting hoarded again in the SI. You do have two spawns. Uh, Boomer Charger. If they can land a Boom right now, this could be really bad. Boomer going for it. Oh! Only getting one last second under a shell. Hunter Charger. Jockey all coming in. Pretty good timing. Lands the charge. One pound. Jockey lands the intercept. Oh, he's stealing his stuff. Charger getting a huge amount of pounds. Wow, we're still already down in the red from that head. Those stumbles are so brutal right there. Yeah, they really were. It was looking like it was just going to be uh, maybe one pound at most, but then that jockey intercepted so well. Stumbled the whole team, and they just let the Charger get a lot of damage. Tank is now up. Going into the hands of James Bond, also hip. Well, that should be an enjoyable war room, so why don't we go ahead and put it there. Uh, Team Ambitious Fools War Room. Suck the spitter as soon as they come here. I'm trying, but not Get the... shooting me. There you go. Nice shot. Alright, get, get behind him and get ready to spawn. Let me get, get this other rock. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Reloading. Three, two, one, let's go. Good hit. <laughs> she caught that. Get another hit. Let's go. Crap, wait, wait, wait. Ready? Get the pull on the neck if you can. Let's go. No, oh, damn, I say. Recharge. I'm gonna spawn. Just, just try to get one if you can. It's going right now? Yeah, just try to get it. Too high. 
We still got a pass, we could get I know. a couple more hits. Get a hit, let's go. I need to get a rock, let's go. Let's go, Charger. Oh my god, what the hell? Stay right there, just try to push sideways. Keep throwing rocks until we get 4.5k. 4, 4 then we're gonna send it in, alright? Alright. In fact, if you can find spawns, let's go. Ready? 3, 2, 1, let's go. We're pushing. It's fine. Follow him a bit. Don't let him lo don't lose rage. Get away, get away. Push in, push in out, push in out. Push in now. Look for spawn, guys, let's go. Oh shit. Welcome back everyone, and that was uh, kind of an interesting tank by Team Ambitious Fools. It looked really good. They were hitting so many rocks starting out right there. It just seemed like Team Lethal Dosage was just taking a lot from them and not really able to LOS the tank. And then the tank moved and uh, kind of got itself cornered in a bad spot on those bushes. And after that, I don't think Lethal Dosage really took any more major damage. Yeah, there was no further damage from that point. And then, looks like they want to attack you. And boom does land right there, and three SI coming in again, but it looks like people does it. <laughs> and actually deploying the propane. Oh, oh the charge. The charge. Landing right there. Pretty quick clears, but still, we've got a Rochelle down into the red. A Nyx in the yellow, and the survivors are only down to their last two kits, so they're going to have to use them on these survivors and have nothing for the rest of the map. So they need to start acing attacks. They've basically got the whole map to go to. Lethal Dosa is extremely lucky there was no spitter there. That could have easily been a wipe, but they have a spitter. There was three people completely immobilized. That was really scary. Yeah, absolutely. 2-2 two, two hit right here. Smoker Hunter. Um, hits coming in. Smoker misses in the front, but lots of wards still in. Hunter lands that pounce. Pull lands for a bit. Having trouble playing these commons on Rochelle, it looks like. And she is actually going to go down. I see. I attacked that early there. Yeah, I think they were uh, just noting that the survivors weren't committing their kits, so they were actually slow on two players. And then, you know, they're just trying to save these kits, but it means they're going to be able to eat a lot more hits. In fact, they're going to be able to hit a lot more. 3-1 this time. And it looks like it's coming in. Charge from the front. Doesn't land on anything. Hunter and Jockey both getting dead stuff in the back. But oh, they land the two caps. Pretty good amount of damage there. Actually getting Nick in cap. Coach and Alice just sitting uh, 1 and 3 health above being slow. And they only have two kits left. So, I mean, one person's about to be slow here for the rest of the map. Healing. Another kid going out. Right, going in Rochelle. There they go. Everybody's kitted up. Uh, they just have to keep lethal dosage and cream bunny alive. Looks like we're gonna be seeing a hit here soon. Boomer going for that boom, only getting an oh, he doesn't land on the two. Charger coming in from the back. Not really gonna land on the Rochelle. Getting juke pretty nice. Spit lands on the Nick. Wow, he's actually getting stuck in it. Quite a bit of damage. Charger getting some punches onto the Rochelle in the back. They need to help clear that charge. Wow. He manages to get Coach down in the yellow as well. It's yeah, a pretty Ellis good amount slow. of damage. Coach and slow. Nick's almost slow. He's only a couple of health above slow. 
Yeah, it does not look really good. I mean, at least they're not bleeding out. But, uh... They're gonna have to really start shutting down these hits, otherwise they're gonna be wiped within two or three hits, I think. Yeah, definitely. And Hit coming in. Pounce lands up top. Gets cleared nice and quickly. Jockey and Spit going in. Jockey missing. Still flying around. He does land. And that pull landed in the back for a little bit. Um, so far managing to keep Nick and Rochelle from taking too much of the damage, though. Nick is still fast, so they only have two survivors slow right now. Indeed. Taking the drop very quickly, even though that smoke is up. Oh, pull is going to land on Rochelle, but they should be able to clear that. They do get it, but restraint goes slow in the process. They did throw a bile out. It's a really good thing that Boomer didn't land or all of those commons would have switched to go for the survivors. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot on top of that. Looks like that's a spitter spawning on the tree as well. So they've just got a 2-1 at this point. Hunter's pre-spawned over there. Hmm. But you know, it's sort of looking like the survivors can make it now. Um, especially with this weaker setup. It's a 3-1 without charger. And looks like they're triggering it early. The full ledge. Hunter's going in. Hunter's is them sound looping, but two cap does land right there, and Ellis goes down from the spit that was put out. And I believe the smoker's been cleared as well. So they're actually yeah, gonna nice. be able to make kills. Nice damage there, and they did get an end cap, and uh, they'll have one more at the safe room door. They sh might be able to get a wiper. Their three survivors are very low. Ellis, Coach, and Rochelle are all very low. I mean, they're. Yeah, within it's, 20 health of cap. It's really just going to be a matter of like going in and getting that scratch on the coach. Uh, if they can get that in cap, they can do some work. Lots of forward here. Pull goes out onto Hat a few, but it should get cleared. It does get cleared. The charger going in. Oh wow, going for the charge and whiffing completely. Quad boom landing right now, and this could be bad for our survivor team. Along with yeah. the carving alarm, the charger's looking for that spawn. Maybe. And he's gonna go for punches this time. No, he gets a oh. double charge. Landing an in cap on both Nick and Rochelle. Jockey looking for that spawn. This could be the wipe right here. Coach has just gone down. They've got Nick back up. Jockey goes down. There's uh, only two L. They do have, still them. have this forward from the uh, alarm car. You know, honestly, at this point, I just put a survivor inside the safe room, close the door, and try to clear common from inside there. Because, um, oh, it looks like they did manage to get Rochelle, and they are getting coach up. They need to take out the smoker. Ella's going down. Boomer up. Gonna land a two boom. Wow, these survivors are so low. No one's black and white at this point, but they need to get in. Rochelle's gonna be reloading when the smoker comes in. And once again, that's gonna oh, land a cap. Lethal dosage in cap. Rochelle in cap. They should already shut the scratches. Door take their bonus. <laughs> what bonus at this point? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's they're, gone. It's a they're four. two points or whatever it is. <laughs> It'll be. Yeah. Nick and Cap. Creamy Bunny gonna walk into that safe room. <laughs> black and white with almost no health. They really need to get those pickups for points, but it looks like they're gonna give up on them. Yeah, they got the full 400 distance, so. Yeah, so at least that's there. There is health bonus in this config. FYI. And they have 8 points of it. <laughs> Probably, what, 6 or so after those 2 survivors die? After the survivors die, it should, yeah. Well, no, it'll go down to at least half of what it's at. And four it is. Finishing with an incredible four points worth of bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, last couple attacks at the safe room door were just brutal. Yeah, really. I think that 
that nice, what was it, a triple charge? That really set it up, I think, for the wipe. Well, not a wipe, but I mean, they got a lot of extra damage right there. That maybe should happen. Ellis knows how to build a monster truck. We ain't driving through this. Yeah, and those last couple guys, hits, they just needed to be able to shut down like any of those SI before before they could do the like six or six or so damage that caused in caps. And like the smoker that pulled Rochelle and things like that, they just weren't able to shut him down fast enough, I think. Or even that boom that landed a double boom on him near the end. Hey, look at this here. Like that yeah. could have been popped. But, oh well, it was a good job getting the distance. We'll have to see how Ambitious Fools does on their survivor side. Creamy Bunny going for the boom on bus. Gonna get popped right there, though. And these other SI, it looks like they are gonna go in. Losing that spitter boomer early. Hunter gonna get dead stopped in front. Jockey coming in. Not even gonna land a scratch. Good shutdown by Ambitious Fools. Yeah, not a single point of damage at all. Except for, actually quite a bit of a friendly fire. Comet, yeah. As far as you know, yeah, propane chip. Absolutely. Two two set up here with the charger on her. They're looking like they want to attack. Yeah, lethal dosage really needs to put in these cappers first. Lose the uh, non cappers later. Otherwise, they're going to keep ending up with these two twos. And so far, it looks like they're they're trying to hit, but they can't find spawns. And they're we'll all behind. Charger spawning up and back, going in first. He does land the charge onto release right there. Boom lands on two. Spit not going to land on the charge, but a pounce does land for a split second. Tank not yet up though. And uh, ambitious fools retreating a little bit. Yeah, they got a little bit of damage from that hit. Um, not too bad, about 20 off of it. Yep, we're just gonna have to see with their tank up. Going into the hands of had a few. Uh, let's go ahead and put this into the lethal dosage war room. Yeah, yeah. All right. Right. We'll, we'll do it right as they go around. Oh, they're fucking doing that way. God damn it. God damn, I thought she was ready. Oh, man. No, no, I didn't realize they were going over the fucking van. Oh, they do that shit all the time, though. That's cool. That's cool. Hold off your spawns. Yeah, just hold on. how to get over here. But how to get up. Yeah, just, you know, stay right. Cool stay right. Uh... Okay, I got a boomer. If you can, uh, try to truck rock. Yeah. Let's see what restraint gets. Like it. it. You ready? Alright. Had to Add a start rolling in. Alright, start pushing it, yeah. Are you losing I... rage? No, don't throw rocks. Uh, start try pushing. To... Just start pushing. Just start pushing. Fuck back in. Start pushing, just start pushing. That's okay. Yeah, just go. Go now, I'm gonna go. Fuck, back it up, Hannah, back it up. No, it's wild. God damn. Damn. Welcome back everyone, and that was Lethal Dosage Tank. Reloading. Not getting Boy. a single point of damage, I don't think. Yeah, that was certainly not, not especially well handled. Uh, we noticed that Mion was sitting in the safe room that whole time, so that tank could have just sat back, thrown rocks, and uh, kept his rage, but it seemed like... I feel like the uh, infected team, Lethal Dosage, must have felt a little pressured or something, because they... They tried to send their jockey in and some SI in, couldn't get anything with that, and then the tank just started rolling in with almost all of his SI down. And... I, th I think once he went to the left side of the bus and started going in, I think he and he took about a thousand chip burn, I think he probably felt like he was overcommitted, like he just had to go. <laughs> yeah, but it was not exactly the most well thought out. But, you know, maybe Lethal Dosage can make it up with some uh, SI hits, hits here. Let's hope. We got a 2-2 here. They do have the charge and spit. 
Boomer's looking for this drop boom right on the front of the bridge. And it looks like he's gonna go for it. Should land it. Yes, one on one. Charge does land. Spitter looking for the spit. A little bit late right there. Pull is going down as well. Mm, just another, like, 20 or so chip going in. Ambitious Fool is looking really solid for this map. Yeah, there's only, I think, the two best attacks left are gonna be maybe a room attack, a drop attack, something similar to that, and then the hill. So, I mean, they only have two really good attack points left. They need some massive damage here. Yeah, keep in mind, at this point in the map, um, this was about where Lethal Dosage was committing their last two mid kits. And Ambitious Fools, of course, has all four. And, and they're all green. Their lowest survivor sitting on 56 health, so... Jaggy going in on front, gonna land that cap, nice boom for the interceptor right there. This could be the damage hit they need. Boomer wants to get popped on that car, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, almost landing the interceptor. Oh, on top. He on top. This should be a huge amount of damage. And that's pretty much a hit. Wow, Boomer does get popped, setting off the alarm car. You know, uh, Ambitious Fools... Still, they're still in pretty good shape after that hit, but that was a really nice amount of damage. Yeah, for, I mean, for the type of hit it was, it actually did everything very quickly. I'm surprised they didn't more actually handled it very well, but I mean, they did take a lot of damage as it is. Coach is getting close to have to commit that med kit, and then came out, he's just one over fast. They do have a 3-1 with Spitter. You know, if I were them, I'd try to commit it on this room. This is perfect for charging Spit. Um, there's a horde coming in. Survivors are holed up, but it looks like they just can't find how they'd go about it. Charger looking for that spawn and back. They're probably going to commit it soon. But no, it looks like they're going to have to wait. Might go for a charge up. Maybe they do have a smoke there. Indeed, and they have the Jackie as well, so there's a lot of potential for some separation here. They're just going to have to be real careful in their execution. They really want to hit the way looking around for spawns. Do you see where this Jackie spawn is? He's mm -hmm. kind of sitting like right at the lip of the cliff. That's I've never seen that before. It's real interesting. Of course, his spawn's pretty much blocked now. Reloading! I think he was stuck, he had to uh, ghost out. Yeah. Survivors looking like they're gonna drop on the towards the front. Kind of a risky move in my opinion, since the SI can just drop right on top of you there. Oh, Jockey pre-spawning in the back. It looks like they do want this charge down, or maybe that's just a mistake on the Jockey's part. But he needs to hightail it out of there. Taking some chip. Oh no, there goes the jockey. I'm a reload. Well, charge is spawning. Wow. Survivors have taken the cliff. But it's going so fast, I don't think these SI are going to get there in time. The charger's going to whiff and get taken out. Spitting the pull going in. Yeah, it's not really the greatest hit for that checkpoint. A little bit of spit Reloading. damage under her shell, but they're still sitting in great shape. They have 700 bonus still. I mean, Reloading. it's looking really good for them. Reloading. There's just that little attack left, pretty much. That's. I mean, they really gotta get something big on that. Reloading. 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 Yeah, Indeed. but they don't have the greatest set of 40. Of that's Boomer, Jockey, Hunter, Spitter. It's not looking good. Yeah, all these survivors are just a little bit away from being slow, but uh. I don't think it's really going to make a huge amount of difference. We'll have to see. They are waiting to kill off some horde behind them. As soon as how they're not bleeding out. They might as well. I'm reloading. Hunter pre spawned up top. Actually going to go in. Oh, lands a 21 on the Meon. He's carrying a lot of health bonus. Jockey going to land onto Ellis there for some damage. Double boom has landed as well. Not too bad. But you know, those med kits are really gonna like keep that health bonus steady. It's actually at 700 right now. Yeah, and it's still. As long as they don't commit those, it's not really gonna change. Well, it will change a little bit. But... They might get one attack here at the safe from door. LS has committed his kit. 
Boom lands onto Nick right there. Spitter going in for a block. Wow, doesn't even get his spit off his pick very quickly. Pull going in onto Ellis. Not gonna set off the ball. alarm car. Very close though. Nick actually taking a good amount of common ship. Going for that cap on him, but it's not gonna put down an end cap. What is James Vaughn question marking about? I think he was surprised the car didn't get set off, maybe. <laughs> And that is the round. 656 health bonus, putting uh, Team Ambitious Fools in a pretty hefty lead, 1056 to 404. Yeah, that's a very commanding lead right out of map one. 600 points down already. I mean, I mean it's not over, so they're really gonna have to kind of put that map behind them and look forward to the next maps and hopefully change what they're doing. Certainly, you know, I mean. One thing we saw from that is it seemed like Lethal Dosage knew how to capitalize on like survivor separation really well. We saw that hit do a huge amount of damage where they landed that jockey up in front. But uh, you know, for the more standard hits like bridge hit and uh, the drop, the uh, big cliff drop, they didn't really know seem to know what they were doing. So I don't know. I think that might be a little bit telling for this match if they can get some separation hits onto. Ambitious fools, they might be able to do some work, but I'm not sure they're gonna know uh, some of the more meta game based plays. I think the uh, the tank that was what I noticed is the largest difference. I I think it was ambitious fools that they play first. Yeah, yeah. ambitious fools playing first. They they uh, I mean got damaged so much on the tank, and then lethal dosage didn't get damaged at all. So or oh oh, ambitious fools was the first tank. Oh yeah, okay. So, so the other way around. Yeah. Oh wow. Survivor's actually getting all these spawns to get pre-spawned right there. Boom going in through the safe room door. Spitter's been taken out. Now it's just up to Hunter and Jockey to decide whether they're going to attack or not and when. <laughs> to go Try the and door. go through the safe room door. Uh, maybe a good idea to sack right then, but you know, it's just going to be another 2-2. Two -two. Wow. Whole attack that was went interesting. in with the door shut. Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea to sack at times wow. like that, but, I mean, you're just going to get another 2-2. you gotta, you got to learn some sack on these games. All right, anybody watching who doesn't know how to not get a 2-2, let one of your non-cappers die last, and that will do it for you every time. We do have a Charger Hunter this time, though, so maybe they can get a bit more with it. Not getting committed yet. It looks like most of their spawns are setting them up on the roof with a spitter from behind. I don't know if that's really the best. Uh, I feel like they should get one of those cappers to come from a different direction, you know? Yeah, maybe inside or behind them, behind a crate or something. Survivors are all bunching up pretty hard to go for this commit. Hit is coming in. Hunter been taken down very nicely. Meow shutting down a lot of these spawns. Boom has landed on the release, but that is the hit. Is that a military sniper in the hands of Neon? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. I oh, it's really not Neon. despised. Who is it's, it? It's uh, James Bond. James Bond. Yeah. Hip, take the military sniper. We do have a witch in play just outside of the warehouse here. Ooh. Oh, getting aggro. And going for oh. the crown with the auto shot, he does land. The charge lands in the front, nice jockey intercept. Spit's gonna land on top of that, and a pounce in the back. Wow, not a bad amount of damage right there. Yeah, a lot of damage under a shell, a little bit on the coach as well from the hunter. I'm really surprised he got that crown actually. It was like just a split second before yeah. the Yushi got hit by that charge. That, that's no auto shotty spam, that's a, that's a crown. I'm pretty sure it was only one shot anyway. Yeah, it was, I think. I only saw one. Reload here. So once again, Lethal Dosage is doing a nice job capitalizing. Oh, they do sack their boom right here. And they do land it very nice. Hunter gonna sack it well. Right on to him. Gonna take it like a champ. Tank is spawned up just before the survivors get to this choke point. Reloading. Boy, this is another tank with the potential to be played really long. I wonder if Ambitious Fools is going to be able to do that. He's um, trying to get those hitables in. 
Yes, indeed. Uh, let's go to a lethal dosage war room for this. Try and go from the other half lethal, yeah, bring him in towards the wall so they can't move out of the nah, yeah, bring him towards yeah, the wall, not away from it. Makes it harder for us to get him if they're all in the middle of the map. Coming in. Oh, what the fuck? That's a nice dual cap we have right here. Somebody should have said, I thought James Bond had top of the gear in the map. This here we is go. funny. Oh, it's already your spawn. Get him right there. Keep him away. Keep him away. Keep him away from the smoker. Oh, what the fuck? So I'll work on Rochelle. This is a long pause. Yeah, I think the dude crashed. Motor missions. Yeah. Okay. You, see, you guys still have the dual cap back there? Yeah, yeah, we still got it. Okay, I'm gonna work out on Rochelle. <laughs> Yay for James Bond. Hey, we're doing really well though. I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say well, but we're certainly doing something. Well, we're not like fucking up, you know. Alright, we go. We're ready. Oh, 
Oh, he's all this game. Oh, no, coach, goddammit. It's still coach, guys. What the fuck? What the he's a bot, man. He teleported. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, take advantage of that shit, whatever. Multiple, no, that's bullshit. This is like multiple layers of being fucked up. <sighs> we're, we're just gonna fuck them up and then like, you know, whatever, you know. They fucking unpause that shit. Dude, this is very seriously gonna be a wipe. Hi, son. Welcome back. Um, that was pretty amazing tank shenanigans. I guess it was mostly just because uh, Hip was disconnected right there, being the sniper. But a really amazingly close two cap landed during that first pause. And we're about to go live again. I think they just asked R. The other team said yes. But now they're not on pausing. All right, let's go back to the war room. See you guys later. I'm gonna stay by you in case you leave. Hey, over here! Last one. All right, welcome back, everyone. And that was a wipe. Um, that's a little interesting. I don't know what to say about that because they they did have two of their players get disconnected during that uh during that tank and it was very looks very like disadvantageous for them. They're saying he's being DDoSed. Okay, they're all saying that. I believe they're making fun of uh purple. Yeah, now they're all saying it. <laughs> Same here. I was getting DDoSed too. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I was getting DOS, like, I was just sitting here, We're all trying to use DOS, my computer, and suddenly start. MS DOS is being installed on my computer. Don't know what to do. So, yeah, I'm more inclined to think that why it was, was just pretty much entirely due to the disconnects, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, if, if Hib hadn't been disconnecting right there, he no doubt he would have cleared the jockey and the uh, smoker that were there, but, you know, maybe they'll just be able to power through it. Uh, that was still a really nice two cap, and uh, a good intercept by the tank onto the auto shotgun at least. And the round is live. James Bond Spitter spawning up. Hunter spawned up as well. Survivors coming out right now. Boomer, oh, actually landing, not getting popped. Two oh, cap my. landing outside. It's spin. Lethal dosage taking a huge amount of damage. Yeah, the actual player lethal dosage as well. Great opening hit from Ambitious Fools right there. Yeah, he's he's already one health away from being slow after the first attack. Yeah, that, that was, was over a hundred damage in total according to scoreboard anyway. Ambitious Fools does have another attack coming up. It should be a three one this time too. Dropping that spitter last. And yes, Charger, Jockey, Hunter, Boomer. Hits going in very quickly here. Hunter, it's dead stop, no DP, but oh my wow, God. double charge landing. So close to being a quad cap. And the Boomer intercept. Very nice intercept. Nick's gonna go down right here. Rochelle gonna go slow. And that Jockey, and they're still struggling to clear these forward. Jockey actually wow. still up right now for some reason. Landing another cap on the shell. Back to the battle cap. right there. Wow, wow. Yes, she is. Very nice opening hits from Ambitious Fools. Wow, they're going to have to commit all of their med kits right here pretty much. Tell us the only one yeah. that could help. They thought those who had a very nice wipe, but they need to. They really need to keep it together and remember that they still got a survivor around to play. Reloading. It looks like they're going to try to avoid committing their kits, probably until just before the tank if they can. A little risky, but I think... Well, they seem to think they can do it, and we'll have to see. Boom lands on Ellis in the front. 
Who is the main health bonus? Cap length on the Rochelle and Spit. She almost gets out and gets in cap by that Spit. But uh, only that one in cap off the hit. She is black and white though, so she should probably use that kit. Yep, there it goes. And they need to be thinking about this witch. Spit delay from Neo. Coach really wants that crown. Charger going for punches in the back. Another double charge after a punch in cap. Quad boot land. Somehow the witch has been startled from outside. Through the wall. Wow. Oh, it's going for Croach. He's not going to get it, but he still has a kit he can use. Uh, they just need to make sure they can actually get these pickups and not get stuck in this room any longer. They really just need to get out of here and start this tank as soon as possible. Toon caps on to hat a few. He needs to kit before he gets killed. They are getting some spawns up. Jockey, Hunter, Smoker, Spitter. Pole's gonna land in the front on Ellis. Big separation. Pounce. Three cap landing right now. Coach gonna get in capped again. Rochelle taking huge amount of damage. Wow, she's actually gonna get in cap back there, I think. Just barely wow. saved in time. Now Ellis is gonna need to hear a heal of Rochelle. That's all their kids. Yeah, this is pretty much it for them. You know, it takes so long to commit these kits, too, that. Lethal dosage, black and white, easy. Rochelle is really low enough. Not gonna heal yet, though. I think that's probably for the best. They really just need to get to this open area. Uh, that said, ambitious fools do have spawns right now. Sending in Boomer in the front, getting a boom on two. We have some fire landing in the front. Not sure if that was on purpose. In cap lands on Rochelle. Cap lands on the coach. Not getting cleared very quickly. It does finally get cleared, though. And they just need to preserve their health. Oh wow, Ellis just now going slow. I don't quite understand how there's so many attacks going out here. There's been three attacks where there should have been one. Well, I mean, ever since the second attack, there's been somebody in cap or healing between every one of these hits. Which is actually a huge time sink. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. They just need to focus on being able to, like, completely shut down these hits. So if they can't do a shut shutdown here, they're just gonna keep getting held up like this. More hits coming in, lots of random common and I think friendly fire chip going two wow. cap landing on the two non food survivors. Other survivors struggling to clear him. Queenie Bunny's gonna go down to that jock. Yeah, this does not look good at all for King Dosage. The shell's gonna be black and white now. It's Alice's first turn. Still a ton of common and a spit delay too. Just so much damage going in right now. Yeah, really. I mean, look at these damage counts. 432, 478, 301. Charging me a punching gap. And a double charge! That's like kind of wow. their signature move at this point. Uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> I think that's the third time this round they pulled that off. Not to mention uh, last map getting quite a few multi charges. Rochelle dead. Dead. Oh boy. Creamy Bunny gonna use up that kit on himself. I'm honestly like so shocked right now. Boomer lands on one. I just, wow, the amount of damage is so crazy. It's pretty mind boggling. Every single attack just went massive on them. I think that was a scratch cap by the smoker into a pole. And spit going down as well. Had a few not black and white. Oh, pounce landing onto Queenie Bunny. Quite a bit of damage off of that as well. And this boomer, they're just going in staggered at this point. And it's working for him. You know, when you have to wait to use those kits and pick up players, going in staggered can actually work pretty well. It looks like they will be able to spawn the tank though, finally. Tank is spawning, Charger going in for another multi- No. Actually getting taken out, Isaac gets a punching cap on the hat a few. Tank probably gonna commit immediately as that jock is in. 
Um, let's just listen to Ambitious Fools clean this up. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing, release? La. Stop the release. Rubber ducky. Shoot. <laughs> Send him home run, home run, home run. Home run. No. no, I want no. him. No, 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 I wanted him. Hey, where's Jam, guys? Sleeping. Welcome back, everyone. And that was Ambitious Fools cleaning up a little bit more distance points going in there for lethal dosage. Uh, but not really making a dent in the scores. Actually managing to take the round by about 30 points, but still no significant difference in, in uh, Ambitious Fools' lead at this point. Indeed. A huge amount of damage, though. Yeah, every every single attack, just so much damage going on. I was counting that their damage, and they had like 2,500 damage, I think. It was just so much. I'm kind of wondering, do we know if... Is Hib a mentor for this team? Or is he just a light confocal player? I would think he's mentoring for them, but... Jeff says he guesses so, but I mean, if this team, this other team doesn't have a mentor... Oh, whatever, I don't want to get into that. It's been covered yeah. on pretty much every cast <laughs> up until now. You're not supposed to have a mentor if we don't, and yeah. <laughs> Nice first attack. Uh, it's Charger Spitter Smoker Jockey. It looks like they're gonna. They're just thinking about using it at this opening hole right here. At the big heart-shaped opening. Smoker looking for a pull to the front. This could actually be pretty interesting if they can pull it off and knock their spawns block. They are heading in right now. Smoker gonna land that pull. Charge gets a charge in the back. Spit's gonna land on that. Jockey needs to get this intercept though, but it gets torn apart by those Uzis. Not a bad opening hit. Uh, Spit could have done to be a little bit quicker, I think. Yeah, Spit landed a little late. It arced off the wall, so it, uh, it a nice spread, but it just was a little bit late on the Spit. Still, like, got 60 damage out of it, so that's, that's a good amount. Yeah, not too bad for such a pretty quick hit as it was. Reloading. Two two here with Charger Jockey. See how they can manage it. Charger going in first from the front. Does land on the Ellis. But the spit really nowhere in sight. Boom does land on the front. So it's going to delay the survivors. And I don't know if that jockey actually got any points. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think anybody got any points in the yeah, uh, pretty much a the delay hit right there. You got to put those charges in later if you want to. If you really want to get a lot of points off of them, you got to give them a distraction. Attracting more zombies. Let's see, 3-1 this time, Hunter, Smoker, Charger, and Spitter. So they could have a good room hit here. If they can make it work. Reloading. Uh, I've been told by Jeez the Mediocre that uh, Hib is in fact a mentor. And they had a different one, but they changed it. Or some such. It's like they're mm. not going for room attack. Either that or they're just trying to find a place to do it. We're seeing all the SI behind them, so it looks like they're going to go in here as the survivors are baiting hole. Probably a good idea. I'd really like to see this work. Hunter spawning up. Is he on the bottom? Yeah, he's below. Very interesting. Charger Smoker still looking for spawns behind, though. They may try to put Hunter in on like a first guy who drops. Now's the time to do it. Oh, but they put all the SI down, all the survivors down. Charge going in, but no, not able to land that charge right there. Going in for punches and getting quite a few of them onto Rochelle, as well as onto Coach. Nice amount of damage from that hit as well. But you yeah, know, Coach is. I was gonna say Coach is now slow, and um, Ellis is getting close to slow. Yeah, but you know, with this many med kits, you know. They need to be able to do like that much damage on close to every hit. I think anyway. I mean, we saw at least one of their hits did not do quite as much damage. 
And, uh, I mean, almost half of the map is gone now, and they haven't really committed any of the kits. All good now. But we'll uh, have to see. Two, attack. Jackie on the front, Hunter looking for spawns behind them. Boomer going in. Oh, actually does land on the two of the survivors. Hunter still looking for that spawn though. Spitter getting picked in the meantime. Jockey in alone. And Hunter is looking to take him down. Quickly. They have yeah, limited one kit on the Getting him. mauled by commons when he uh, chose to throw the pipe on. Very interesting. Reloading! And we've yet to see that tank, so it is looking like it's going to be a poster tank at this point. Indeed. I don't know if throwables are restricted in this. I, I'm sure they are to some extent, but I'm not sure exactly. I think there's just one. I haven't seen any more than one throwable each map. Yeah, indeed. They but just stacked a spit. We saw they've got Charger Smoker. Uh, they will probably get the jockey with this. No, getting another spitter. So, with the coaster tank? Oh, actually, No not. coaster tank. Tank is spawned wow. up right now. Is he gonna try to cut them off? He's trying, not able to jump over that edge, though. Going for a rock right here. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get this cut off of the survivors. And it looks like he's not. Uh, I think I want to go to a survivor war room for this. Let's do it. Let's go to ambitious fools. Tim, shoot them with AK if we. What the hell? Has ever suck? Too much, like. What the hell? I shot that boomer, but whatever. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get to the corner over here. Start breaking all the rest. Tanks right there. Take a shot at him. Kill a common. My uh, Mary. Okay. Hey, if you guys, if you guys got M60s or whatever, just start shooting the tank, and I'll kill the uh, kill the boomers off you guys. Hunter's up. Boomer. Yeah, tank's low HP, let's start pushing. Come on. Mine, your ping's oh, back. Oh, what? 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 The the hell hell was your that? ping's back to normal. I need yeah, I know. Well, welcome back, everyone. And boy, that was actually looking kind of bad for uh, Ambitious what Fools there for a bit. There? They ate that quad boom, and Tank was set up pretty well to go for rocks, but just wasn't able to land any of them, and eventually committed. Was shut down pretty quickly. Reloading. Did finally get a one last death rock We're just before dying though. Coaster. Yeah, that was it's a pretty clutch final rock. Um, but uh, survivors have Reloading. one med kit left, and it looks like the SI have close to the setup they want. They have Hunter instead of Jockey, but you know you can work with Hunter here if he doesn't Hunter get running, running away from the coaster. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> He's running away with all this. That was money. awesome. Wow. Uh, that, that's why I can't forget about the survivor's charger does not quite get his spawn. Oh, gets shut down by those auto shotguns in the front. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's so funny. <laughs> he goes like that deer caught in the headlights feeling. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I was wondering what he's doing pre-spawning up there. I thought he was just gonna like jump over it or go on the rail or something, but he was running away from it. <laughs> Smoker was not able to get a ledge pull. They didn't really get anything off of that choke point uh, because that charger shut down mostly. Charger going in again solo right there, gonna get just torn up by the survivors. And they really need to get a concerted effort to just get some damage in. Um, Oh, wow, Neon actually failing the drop. I know it's difficult, yeah. but um, I don't know how to do it by right now. <laughs> Getting laughed at by his team. <laughs> 2-2 hit right here. Jockey coming in on the back. Gonna land on Neon. 
Not gonna get that in cap. Oh, actually forcing him to drop down and get in cap though somehow. There is a smoker up that could go for some ledge pulls. Um, it might be in his best interest to just delay them from hitting the button. Looks like they're actually trying to go back to pick uh, Neon up. They, they do need that pickup. The question is, how should they do it? I think they need to go and hit the button, though, with some of their survivors. They're all going back in Zid, though. Jockey just setting up on front. They're going to do some delay plays here, it looks like. Not really going to capitalize on that end cap. Um, survivors may, in fact, commit that kit. Oh, trying to auto shotty that. Wow, actually, Nick Merriweather getting a nice clear on that charger as it ran by him. And Jockey taken down as well. Just a boomer up for the SI right now. He really kind of needs to find a way to. Oh, yeah, it has been committed onto Neon. Smoker needs to find a pull down here soon if they want to be able to get any more damage. They really need to start chaining these pull offs. And oh. not able to get it. Nice shutdown by Nick again. Automatic Killer 47. It's not actually what AK 47 stands for. In case you didn't Sounds know. Like Hunter getting dead stopped in the back by James Bond. Professional spy. And the survivors pretty much have safe room at this point. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be able to push in here with nothing further attacks. 772 health bonus again. That's pretty big. Once again, yeah, whoever is in charge of the light cup config, I would highly <laughs> recommend turning down the uh, the health bonus multiplier from 2 to 1. I can show you how to do that if you want. But uh, I'm not really sure it's necessary to have it at twice uh, the map distance. Yeah, fix it. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Turn on me. It's Let me crap. just jelly control. Oops. This is some crazy ass world we live in. Uh, next round going live, lethal dosage on Survivor. Once again, we're going to see that 3 1 hit. It looks like Ambitious Fools. Thinking of doing something slightly different. Charge is setting up behind at this point. Which could be good, but I have a feeling he's just going to get either juked or shredded. We'll have to see. SI coming in. Pull goes to the front. Jockey not able to get that intercept. Charge does land in the back with an arc spit up to wow. it. Charging not getting clear. That's going to be a lot of spit damage. And wow, the two cap has re-landed on front. This is going to be a huge amount of damage for the survivors. Rochelle nearly getting in cap from that first attack. Yeah, 15 damage. There are 15 health remaining on Restrain. A great opening hit from Ambitious Fools. I feel like uh, Team Lethal Dosage is not... I don't know. They were a little bit separated on that. They didn't really manage to clear anything before it landed, it seemed like. Another boom going in with two of the survivors getting hit. Charge comes in the spit her up. Oh, just charge does land all the way back. Spit a little bit short, but I think it's still hitting. And a jock landing in front as well onto Ellis. Coach not able to get that clear before the jockey hits the end cap. Two end caps though on the survivors right now. Smoker considering delaying this pickup right here. Not gonna happen. Nice jock. Back in the saddle onto Rochelle once again. And yeah, once again we're seeing Team Lethal Damage stuck in this sort of situation where they've got in caps and they have to commit kits after every hit. Um, Ambitious Fools just taking advantage of it and going in like two at a time approximately. To really slow these teams down. They need to be able to shut down these SI if they want to continue. Ambitious Fool is getting a spitter charger. Hopefully they can get to this room without getting any more incaps. Charger goes in, gets a punch um, onto Rochelle for an incap. Nick getting incapped as well. Ellis getting pulled for an incap. Lethal dosage is the only one left. Jockey getting shut down just in front of his face. I think that was the fourth or fifth double charge we've seen. Much obliged. Yeah. There's been quite a few of those. 
They are going to make it to the room here. They do have two players black and white right now committing kits immediately. Nice dead stop by Restrained right there, keeping herself from dying. Charger going in for Lance the charge onto Rochelle. They need to get this clear. They need to get her out of the spit, but that pull's going to go in. All of her items just wow. flew out of her body. And not in a very sensual way at all. <laughs> Had a few does manage to heal up though, so we would have continue on with three survivors. Certainly, but you know, a good try cap could end this. And that would not be unusual from Ambitious Fools. Boom going in, but they only got the 2 2. Getting a cap onto Nick in the front. Jockey getting shut down pretty well though. Had a few taking a little bit of spit damage, but uh, they need to just power through this at this point and go for distance. Yes, they do. No point waiting around for this horde to end. They will have spawns. It's a nice setup for the bottom two. Hey, that's not cool. Seriously. Ch Charge shot spawning in the back. And yeah, running away. Get a jockey that just got focused oh, down wow. easily. I noticed somebody was commenting on uh, Rochelle's med kit being missing, but I think I think one of the other survivors picked it up. Actually, Coach or Ellis. Because I do not see it back there on her body. Yeah, Boom lands on the bottom for two. Charger does land right now. Smoke is going for the intercept. Doesn't quite hit it. Oh, the spit. Going in. Oh, they got up pretty quickly. Well, actually landing on the Nick. And another pipe bomb being deployed right around this same area. Ellis is slow at this point, but they don't really have a lot of choices. They can't afford to sit around and heal him at this point. Spawns are coming up once again. Joggy Charger Hunter, nice three cap. Maybe they can land it this time. They do have a spitter as well so for some damage. Pounce lanes in front. Joggy intercept lands. Oh, but the Charger not able to get in. Down one again! Does land in capping Creamy Bunny. Had a few is now the only one left standing. Should be able to get these clears. But will he be able to get the pickups before spawns again? Get up, get up, get up! They're still 8 seconds away, so he should get one. The other pickup will, uh, I mean, we'll have to contend with the SI for that one. Indeed. Boomer coming in, gonna land a triple boom right there. Pull lanes onto Nick in the front. They do get the pickup. That spirit is gonna land. I think it's still hitting him. No? Uh, no, it's not. No. These survivors need to focus on clearing themselves. Actually, Nick's just gonna die. And a 14 damage pants, plus some scratches, wow. ending the round. Yeah, Team Lethal Dosage getting wiped with only 227 points from that. Uh, it's not looking good at all. I don't know what to say. It just says uh, lots of early damage. Yeah, just, yeah. There's so much damage, and then they're, I mean, lethal. I mean, ambitious fools are getting so big on the health bonus every single time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, wow, two thousand points already. Map four. I mean, this is another map where you can come back about a thousand points, probably, but. They're going to really need some incredible play of some type here. Wipe right out of the safe room with a quad cap. And, uh, and then make it with 1400 bonus. <laughs> pretty much. Well, I have to say, at least Lethal Dosage wins the loading game. <laughs> Two two opening set up here, Jockey Hunter. And it's going live. A lot of two twos today. Yeah, they certainly have been. And once again it looks like they're gonna try to open with this boomer.
Boom, not gonna go in. Hunter pre spawning on the side, it looks like. Survivors are trickling out of the safe room. They need to commit these SI pretty quick here. Hunter getting ready to go in. Jockey not getting that spawn. Boom lands on the two. Jockey is going in. Spitter taken down. Now Jockey's gonna die last. Oh, not getting any point. Looks like we're seeing some boom damage land though. Yeah, Hunter, Jockey, they're only two cappers. They got shut down both of them very easily. Reloading. Reloading. A little bit of damage, but... There's a chance we'll see another 2-2 here. Uh, can't say for sure though. Boomer, Hunter, Charger, and Spitter. But uh, if they can land these cappers with the charge, it could still be good. Oh, they missed their spawn there. They're all trying to get around the corner, but they missed the spawn. Just barely missing a charge, you're going in first again, landing a double charge, Spit's gonna land this time, Pounce not quite landing though, Boomer there for that intercept, probably gonna land his proxy under Rochelle pushing her into some more Spit, a uh, very nice hit right there, by lethal dosage. Yeah, huge amount of damage there, that's the type that they need, they need to keep doing that. Yeah, James Bond down in the yellow. Spawns coming up again, Jockey, Hunter, and waiting for the last two. But I think based on that death order, it's going to be 3-1 with the Spitter Charger up now. They should just get spawns real quickly and just go in again. This is a great place to hit. The Charger unable to find a spawn. And Charger once again going in first, does land the charge. Does not get cleared, but for Charger, it's Pounce and Spit landing in the back. Jockey trying to get that intercept, not going to happen. Uh, there but is a witch ahead somewhere. Oh, she's right there in the doorway. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> it's okay, team. I've got this, says Hib. Going with the machine gun. Across the rooftop. Reloading. The spitter's still alive in front. She should probably reload. go for a despawn. Unless it's trying to bait the survivors out somehow. Uh, 2-2 two, two hit right now. Spitter running away. <laughs> Oh boy, she's dead. Smoker going for that pull. Oh, I see. It was almost a bait to uh, get him sitting and looking over that ledge. Wow, pull getting almost juked getting twice up. though. Boomer Jockey still up. Not really much going for them. Maybe th they were thinking there's going to be a tank spawn here. But it has not happened. Tank now up. Into the hands of Creamy Bunny. The survivors tank. have dropped, so they're gonna have to fight in this area over here. Yeah, I don't like this area too much. I mean, it's it's a lot easier to wipe her than it is in the room. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this into a lethal dose of war room. Let's do it. Okay. All right, cool. We got a tri cap. Um, roll in, and then we'll come in when you need support. Be sure you guys can spawn. Okay. Okay. Let's look to the fire. Got him. him. Yeah. Okay. Roll in after the fire. Okay. Hold on. Just be patient. He's got life. Nice, get up in there. Go in, go in, go in. Get him, Hunter, get him. There's a name. Sport smoker, if they go to pick him up, they're probably gonna pick him up in the back. Right there, get him, smoker, get him. Well, 
Welcome back, everyone. And that was Lethal Dosage's tank. Wow, at that opening hit, they landed a punch and a double charge and a pull at the same time, and I thought that was going to be it, but, uh, boy, the tank wasn't able to get that corner onto Rochelle, it was like... Yeah, but Rochelle doing the tank around very nicely, and uh, tank didn't really get anything else after that nice yeah. opening hit. Tank kept going for these jump punches, which would have been great if you could make them, but it didn't happen. All kids have been committed, though. If they can get an in cap right here, they might be able to finish this off. Pole getting taken down. Pounce landing in the front on Ellis, but getting cleared very quickly by release. Boomer gonna get popped in the front as well, and that is it. Survivor's just up to waltz in here. Through a couple Nine, layers of combo. That's a wow. very big boner indeed. 888. Eight, eight. I'll say. Look at all those snowmen. Big boner, sorry. So, I mean, it's only about 3,500 points. This is totally possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if they make this map and the next one, sure. After wiping them on the next map. With perfect scores. Alright, maybe not all that possible, but I'll see them play out anyway. Two two setup, of course, for ambitious fools. It looks like they're planning on dropping this pretty quickly. I don't know what that spitter's doing right there. Looks like they're all trying to get on top of the uh, safe room. Yeah. I think they're commenting about how Neon's unable to get on top of the safe room with the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> they need a little fell again. Failing jump. Poor thing. Try number four. No. Nope. Nope. Let's go again. <laughs> Survivor's opening the safe room though, and it looks like they're gonna come out. Hunter looks like he's gonna go for a corner DP over there. But Survivor's just baiting in some commons, not going in yet. Boomer and Spitter are actually sacking right now. I don't know what the rest of these SI are going to do since they are all pre-spawned. Um, the best thing for them to do is to wait for their teammates to get some spawns. But no, going in, Jockey lands for 8 damage. Hunter not going to land, but not really getting chipped all that much either. Like he will save for an outside attack, probably. They do have a charger. Boomer spawned up now. Neon still with the timer. Hunter going for that despawn. Boom does nice land up with two of the survivors, but they have a spit now for Neon, so 2 1. You know, they could actually go in here if they can manage to land this pounce to open for the charger. And it looks like they're trying to do it. Hunter going in, charge lands, pounce lands. Spit gonna land onto the charger very nicely as well. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Restrained. At 41 health right now. So, you know, at, at, for this point in the map, it's actually looking really similar on um, the amount of damage and whatnot. Yeah, it's looking pretty close. Um, Strain's gonna need to commit that kit soon. Um, all three of the other survivors are in great health right now, though. Reloading. Boomer we going do have in. that witch. Nice pop by Creamy Bunny. Charger Jockey going in. Charger whipping. Jockey's gonna land. Hunter barely missing that DP on the evil dosage. And Charger coming back in for punches. They need to get that clear. Nice job getting that clear. Um, you know, lethal dosage actually shutting down hits pretty well this map. Except for that uh, one charge and pounce. They don't have a shotgun for this witch here, so it looks like they're going to have to draw with they charge. They have shot her once, twice. And here comes the Uzis. A bat going in as well. They do kill off the witch. Smoker and Jockey going in for a little bit of damage along with that spit, but uh, not getting a huge amount. 
Boom's gonna land onto two of the survivors though. But survivors should be able to power through this. It doesn't look like they have a lot of horde in front of them. Yeah, it's all coming behind. A little bit from the front. Of course, the shell is slow, so they don't have a. They can't exactly rush through the roof. Reloading. So it's looking like one more attack before the tank is spawned in, probably. Yeah, it's a 3-1 with Spit. Looks like they want to try to get ahead on this next ridge. Charger spawning. Not going to get anything. Off the roof with 50 health left. Hunter Spit or pre-spawn in front. Charger coming back in. Taken down. Hunter flying around. Pull lands. Pounce. Oh, almost landing onto Ellis in that Spit. But shut down pretty well. Making Rochelle slow um, for this tank, so she might want to commit her kit now. Yeah, they really do need to commit that before the tank commits. Commit, commit, commit. And uh, let's put this to an ambitious fool's war room. Let's go. What the? <laughs> this dumpster is not going in, Tim. Hey, try to get me a rocket. Let's go. Can I go for DP? Go. Oh my god, let's spam. <laughs> Close round. Going on, You want me to wait? Try to get it. Try to get it. I'm gonna try to get a. Ah, oh, Mr. Rock. Here's a little song that I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. To do do to do do to do to be happy. In every life we have some trouble. Oh, nice. Nice. I might try to get a rock on that. Oh, oh wow, too short. Go, go, go now, go now. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> so bad at throwing rocks. Past ten. Oh no, there you go. Be <laughs> <laughs> happy. Good to go, Tim. Go! Nice job, Tim. Boom, my heels. Ah, that Oh, that DP, that DP. Oh, nice DP. Restaurant? What? Nope. Ah. Let's go, Tim. Let's wait for uh, Mary. Ready? Connection or not connection? Frustration. Connection. Shut <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing right? Who wants to try a tank, guys? Let's go one more rock. If I lose it, I lose it. If I don't, let's Ready? go, Tim. Let's go. Yeah. 
no, no, fail, 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 fail. Alright, Tim, I'm gonna pass it down. Oh, I am. I'll get one more rock before. Reloading. There you go. Reloading. Can I just go in? Can Where is it? Good pass. Wow, really? What a boom. What? Oh, I popped that fire off you. Ooh. Just gonna go in. My own second tank. Yeah. You learned well, son. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, and what a long tank by uh, Hip, I believe, was playing rock after rock after rock. Team Lethal Dosage just not able to clear off those hits. And then Mion finally on that commit, getting a triple punch right as he died. That was pretty hilarious. Charge lands onto Ellis, the last of the health bonus with a big spit onto that. Uh, for a double end cap over there, actually, so this is probably going to be it for Team Lethal Dosage. Yeah, it's looking good, so. Smoke gets the kill. <laughs> yep. Show on one scratch, and she's dead as well. That's pretty much it. This is yeah. officially officially game over, but uh, I think unofficially there's still going to be another map. Well, actually, whatever. Anyway. Just holy cow, so many rocks. I was counting at first, but there was just so many I lost count. <laughs> I noticed a comment in the chat about that uh, Molotov throw during that tank. Throwing that, that was... Molotov for the moon. <laughs> Pretty funny to see. Just going for the distance on that volley. That can make a great quarterback. <laughs> Told the tank to go long, but he just didn't go for it. Who's gonna get the early tank? Who's gonna get the sniper? It looks like Hib sniping once again. Or at least not gonna take it this map. And I saw you looking to go in. As tank spawns up, nice ground skeet there, I believe. It's either by Mion or by Meriwether, and tank is up in the hands of Restrain. Getting um, that forklift in. Let's just put this to another ambitious fool's word. On bow. Ah! Holy crap. They're behind. Oh, team skin. Take my kill. Roger. Oh, no, no, no! No! Holy crap. Oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. That lag saved me. That lag saved me. Welcome back. 2011, throwing a rock while boom does tank. I seriously hope you guys don't do this. Charge goes in and lands onto Ellis right there. With the hunter trying to come in as well. Uh, yeah. Good effort by lethal dosage on that. That tank stopped moving and got mauled by those comments. Yeah, really. He got a nice last minute forklift hit though on to release just before he died. Oh, certainly did. Uh, they need to figure out how to get these uh, punches though. They tried to get... You know, they had that first punch onto Rochelle and just weren't able to follow up on it. Uh, somehow missing that. So it looks like on Finale you get four additional pills in addition to the four health packs you start with. That's not too bad. Finale is starting, and I don't really know what to do with this. Because the game's over, and they're just going to be sitting here forever. Let's just hope there's not any, like, two hour long rounds. <laughs> yeah, really. 
See, this is where, like, the winning team is supposed to do the, the courtesy move and, like, get wiped by the early paint for us. <laughs> but no, I think they want to get, like, a 6k or something or something early for That would be pretty impressive. Yeah. What's our ultimate now? 1400, so it need. Hey, well, let's see what the ended score. My singing career ended. We need about a thousand. Actually, landing a double cap right here. A lot of hunter damage on the coach as well. Spit damage and on the hip. Yeah, I want to see 25. They would need about a thousand bonus to make us uh, um, five or six thousand score. So, huh? It's entirely possible that lots of kids. Yeah. They're at a thirteen twenty eight right now, and as long as they keep these kids, it's gonna stay at a thirteen twenty eight pretty much. Maybe waver a little bit. Tank running across the stage for five hundred points. Oh, going for the other forklift. And with the pause. pause. All right, last 2011. Map. After you're already winning, good time to pause. They gotta make sure they get that 6K score. Yeah, absolutely. Then they can tell everyone that they got 6,000 points like in Vogel. Wait a second. Getting that forklift in. What a hit! Oh, wow. Almost rolling onto Meriwether right there. Not gonna happen though. Boom does land on the neck. But this forklift's in a really precarious <laughs> spot. He's just jump and hit it. Not timing that well. SI are all dead though. So it's just up to lethal and his forklift. Well, it's in. <laughs> yep. There it goes. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess Ambitious Rules does have a mentor in this, which is Hib. Uh, but to be honest, a lot of their players seem to be doing quite well on their own, getting a number of skeets and yeah. picks. Release was doing fine with Honor Rifle. And uh, yeah, it definitely looks like they deserve this win. Tink passing him over Rock Throw and Rock disappears. <laughs> yeah, Team Lethal Dosage. They had some uh, pretty nice moments on to, on Infected, but you know, they yeah, just need to play together a bit more on Survivor, need a bit more chemistry and uh, shutting down ability. Exactly. Long, drawn out tank. Finally gonna die here. Can we not shoot each other? Ammo here. They have not committed any more kits, or at least still on a pretty good amount of health, so That's their still health bonus is at 1268. Yeah, it's still really good. We might see that over 6k score. I think we will see it. Quite honestly. I would think they'll definitely want to commit those kits uh, before this next tank spawns in though, so they're fast. I don't know. I think... I think they might be able to just, like, rely on their guns and tier 2 and whatnot to kill this tank and then they'll have those kits to make sure I mean if they're really really going for like 6k or bust then I don't think they should use the kit that's basically what I'm getting here because those ensure the 6k no matter what yeah they're still at 1200 the bonus has actually gone up surprisingly in a sense oh yeah because they passed those kills to the least instead Oh, but they are going to kid at least one of the survivors. Next wave of Horde's going to come in. 3-1 with Spitter. Should be the last wave before 10. Pole landing on a Meriwether on the side. Intercept! Out! Charger getting that quick in-cap onto Mio. And actually landing a charge on the James Bond as well. Mid. Spit gonna farm some points off a of coach right there. <laughs> Not a bad move. Spitter wants to tank. Mm -hmm. Reloading here. 
And I'm seeing all kinds of lights flashing, but I hear no finale music. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's because we're spectators. If you go, if you go like first person on one of the survivors, you'll hear all oh, yeah, the music. And last tank is up. In the room. Oh my gosh. I see this being a like long he tank. Out. He's not. He really needs to just park there and stare out the window because he's. Moving around a lot, he's not actually getting a lot of sight yes. on the Already half passed on his thing. He's yeah. already so bad. I guess he just wants to pass this. Survivor's health bonus is at 9.36. So I'm not actually sure if they're going to get the 6k. Yeah, I don't think they will. Yeah, I don't think so. If we'll they finish with that. what they have, they will. But if this tank does any more damage, they won't. There are no more pills or shots on stage. Bam! Charge does land on the Meriwether right there for a little bit. Pull gonna go in as well. This tank's actually about to AI, which is quite good because I think he's gonna like disappear as soon as he AIs. We'll see. He has AI. He's at 5,000 health. Yep, he does the chopper. Alright. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a control thing, by the way. I, I think that happens on the Noah as well. It kills off the that second tank when the chopper comes. I guess we won't blame it on you to fix it then. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I wouldn't even know. I'm too busy working on the location, which is going to be updated. Is that a... Back again. When is that going back in, you know? It should be this Friday. Oh, it should come back. But I have to, uh. I have to fix it first. Not making 6k score. I do have 5710 though, so almost. I'm disappointed. I'm upset. I should have, I should have got 6k. But yeah, Confogal Mutation coming back this week. I've managed to, uh, get rid of the. infected clip brushes. You know, the. the that makes it so you can get to a few extra areas as infected on some of the maps. Like Parish 1 opens up some are there, more uh, Are there any changes from the last time the Yeah, I was saying, we're getting rid of the infected clip brushes. I'm trying okay. to work on item limiting to some extent and trying to find a solution for hunting rifles. Oh, cool. But uh, as awesome. long as I can make these changes happen. Is, uh, is health bonus going to be in there or is that not in there? I don't for that think so. There's, there's not really any way for that to happen. Tank spawning up coming in. Nice shutdowns on these SI. Charger Nick no. swimming into it. Yeah, quite a bit of spit damage. Meriwether gonna try to move this uh, forklift in. Let's go to an ambitious fool's war room once again. Meriwether? Meriwether, Tim? Yep. Meriwether having trouble with Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alright, come on, Meriwether, just like I told you. Come on. Put that in there. Damn it. Work on your curve lock. Oh. Hello. Oh, release. You got that curve lock. Hi. Nope, almost. Fucking pull. Just go. Send, let's go. Send it in. Me and my brother are almost up. Just send it in the tank and... Don't mess around too much with the hit wall, you can't get it through. Oh, there you go. Nice. They're gonna take it inside the room where everybody takes it. Ready charging? Yeah. Let's go. Fuck. Get close down if you can. Welcome back everyone. That was Ambitious Fool's tank. Not quite getting the wipe, but uh, getting 2.5 end caps it looks like, so pretty good amount of damage. Choosing to give up on that forklift pretty quickly after he committed. 
Nice amount of damage. It's all academic at this point, though, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed. Hunter going for DP. Oh, the mining just passed. He can go for another one, though. Here comes. Land it, land it, land it. Oh, can't even get the intercept, though. Dead stop by Ellis right there. Lethal dosage and had a new incap once again. Dickens by Floyd. And Hunter going for DP again. Third time's the charm. I'm sure he'll be able to get it. Actually, that was the third time. Oh! Oh, nice. <laughs> and there goes all the fire. <laughs> God, that's the most annoying thing to me. It when, is. When I'm playing a pub, somebody decides that we don't need the fireworks and just blows them all up. It's like, that's that's like two hordes worth of destructibles right there. You can't just get rid of them. They did like the charger with it though, so... <laughs> that's better. So, I just noticed that on this stage, like, up above near the roof, there's about, like, 10 million speakers, and I never noticed that before. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like, I'm having them, there's, there. like, so many. <laughs> wow. There's, what, one, two, three... Eight, eight sets eight of... In each, yeah. Eight sets of eight. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, and the <laughs> other side has less of them. It's yeah. got eight sets of four. So that's eight by eight. Sixty-four plus thirty-two. And uh, another hit comes in. Planning a two-cap here. Actually getting some nice separation onto Ellis there. That pound's not getting cleared. So that's like, what, 96 speakers? That's a lot. Quite a few. Not to mention those, I don't know if those big things on top are supposed to be subs or something. No, I don't understand. Because they don't actually have, like, cones in them. They're just big holes, so maybe that's just the... I don't know. The boom actually only managed to get one of those. There goes a proxy onto the other survivor. But, yeah, this is looking to be pretty much over. We're probably not going to see the wipe go until the tank. Yeah, but they're all on temp health right now. They do have two kids left, though, so... They might make it past the first tank. <laughs> Should be coming up any time here. There it is. Hunter here for another DP that's not going to happen. AI Hunter. Neon it's tank. Like neon. Has it? In an all right position. One boom goes in. Are they gonna commit? Shards missing. Going for more rocks. Not a really great angle for those rocks since the top of the stage is so close. Or top of the stands. Um, yeah, I think the only way we can get rocks is like being on the ground in that area. Is that... He is? Oh, looks like maybe. He's trying to avoid that Molotov. Oh, he's gonna get lit anyway. Gonna go in. Wow, this, they should be able to take out this tank. 2k health. Yeah, definitely. Gonna get the punt on the Rochelle though. It's coach. One more to end cap. Tank almost dead. They've gotten Rochelle up somehow though. Or was she even in cap? I think it was. Uh, I think she freed herself. She like just fell on the next level. Like a lead chain. Yeah. So no wipe right there. But a lot of damage. Too good. Can somebody wait up? And they have no more health on the stage at all. So their yeah. two gets on them is what they got. Nobody's black and white, but they're using up the last kit onto a shell right now. That means Nick and Coach are screwed. <laughs> Weapons over here. Okay. Pretty Charger much. Going for a charge under Rochelle. Sneaky charge. Sneaking up there. <laughs> Just got the full charge on. Oh, and got one Rochelle right after that kit. Wow. Just starts like LOL. Pretty solid. 
That was pretty funny. The silent trigger. <laughs> he didn't even fast climb as far as I can tell. Yeah, no, he just smoke climbed all the way up that end. To her off. Hey, look out! I don't think she even heard it at all and realized it was there because she didn't even turn around or anything. <laughs> yeah. Had to be as black and white now. Looks like this next hit going in. Jockey was taken out very quickly. Cole gonna kill him. Yeah, I got some pounce and spit though. On the a little bit of his help on his gun. Coach is in capped. He's gonna be black and white once he gets Nick up. Died from something. I didn't see but yeah, he actually got pulled to death. <laughs> and Merryweather tank and finish it off like a boss. Pushing it straight in. I wanna see Coach just like fall down after getting punched. Oh, getting oh. over. <laughs> Bunny does have the auto shotgun. Juking everything. <laughs> he just needs to kill the jockey. He can do this. Also, he needs to kill about 30 commons, which are coming in right now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> wow. That punch. Another punch. Nice common hops by Ellis. Not gonna happen, though. Missing the rocks, too. And that's the capped. Uh, congratulations to Team Ambitious Schools. A very solid job getting 5,710 points over Team Lethal Dosages, 2056 points. And, uh, yeah, good effort by Team Lethal Dosage. Yeah, and, uh, they just, on Survivor, they, they couldn't make it work, I don't think. It just wasn't working out for them. Yeah, I'm not sure they survived a single map. I don't think they did, in fact. But, uh... <laughs> They did pretty good on Infected, but in the Survivor just wasn't working out for them at all. Couldn't really get anything. It was definitely an interesting game, and thanks to all the 43 of you guys who are still watching after that final map. And, uh, yeah, we'll be casting more of these in the future. Thanks. Yeah, we'll see you later, guys.